What's good, YouTube? Hitman X. Make sure I hit that like, hit that sub. Show your boy some love. Now, great win for the Suns. I want to say, first of all, Devin Booker. Devin Booker, he in his bag. He's sleeping. Y'all sleeping on him. He's flying under the radar. Right? Everybody's on Dame, and rightfully so, man. Dame has been on some serious shit. This whole season, though, not just in the bubble, this whole season. Like, one can say he's he having an MVP caliber season. You really, can't, you really can't argue that, especially if they get into the playoffs. He's, what he's doing right now is nothing short than legendary. But I, this video I don't want to make about Dame. Devin Booker pulled it off against G Leaguers. I know y'all going to say that, yo, they didn't have Ben Simmons and Joel Embiid. And, yeah, that's true. But these players are still out here playing for their careers. You know, you got Dame who out here playing for his legacy. What we're seeing in the bubble is, is something different, and I like it. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm, the, the level of c c competition that I'm seeing in this bubble, it makes for more entertaining games. You know, before you, you know, you just see a game and you, you don't appreciate it as much as you do now because we had the sport of basketball taken away from us. So now you're seeing... The game from a whole different aspect, and I love it, you know. Um, like I said, man, Devin Booker, you could tell he wants it. He's doing whatever he has to do. It's not like, oh, he's forcing anything either. Because just by looking at his field goal percentage, you can see, like, this dude, he's playing within it. not only his field goal percentage, but, I mean, just his, his numbers. And if you're watching the games, just watch the games, man. Watch the games. This dude is out here. In his bag right now. For for somebody to do it at his age, the way he's doing it, man, I'm not saying, look, he's on, on Dame's level, but he's doing some shit that Dame is doing. Like, he's taking his, his team and carrying it on his back. Unfortunately, at the moment, he's doing it single-handedly at times. Like, literally, I'm watching the game and I'm seeing the team just primarily run through him. And, you know, he's doing what he got to do. And he's looking for his teammates at time, and to their credit, they're stepping up in, in key moments. But that's one person, man, who steps up and disappears at times. And that's DeAndre Ayton, man. Y'all know I rocks with Ayton. Y'all know I roll with him. But you can't come out here playing like you did today, my nigga. You can't do it. It's gotten to the point now where DeAndre Ayton is comfortable in his position. And just setting screens and getting rebounds and, you know, going up vertical in the in the paint, playing defense. That's not going to get it for a number one overall pick. You know, we can't come out here and, and bash on Lonzo and not get on DeAndre Aiden for his small play. This guy, ain't he ain't taking the game serious. We, you can tell he's not taking the game serious. You can just tell from his body language. Look at Lonzo right now. Look at Lonzo right now. He's playing right now. And the dude is hitting shots now. Finally. Finally. Now it takes for people to call you out, to call you on your shit, for you to finally play with some heart, to finally want to shut people up. That's why I say some people you just got to poke. You got to poke the bear in order to actually get a reaction out of them. You know, I, that's why I say we got to flame these dudes, man. We got to stay on these dudes next. DeAndre Ayton, I'm not coming off of yours. Bro, I gave you way too many passes. I jumped the gun and said, in two years or in a few more years, DeAndre Ayton will be the best player in this draft. You know, disrespecting Luka Doncic. Now in hindsight, which is always 2020, you can look back and say, what the hell was the Phoenix Suns thinking picking you? Right? We could have had, right? Luka Doncic, Devin Booker, and, 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 and still made that trade to get Mikael Bridges. Right? Because we traded up to get Mikael Bridges. We traded Zaire Smith. In a future 2021 draft pick from the Miami Heat for Mikael Bridges. So we could have still had Mikael Bridges on the squad with Luka Doncic. But ho, oh, I could do you one better. Once one more, one more better. We could have had Luka Doncic, Devin Booker, and get this guys, Michael Porter Jr. Right? Who I wanted at that pick. I wanted Michael Porter Jr. at that pick. Now, right. I want us to trade up and get him. But we got Mikael. I'm cool. But we could have had that three court. Right? But we got you. Because we needed to fit a need. And I do feel like we made the right decision. 
But the way you're playing, it's like you don't believe it. I believe it more than you believe it. It's disgusting to watch. It's disgusting to watch Dario Sarge come out here and outplay you off the bench. Diving on the board for basketballs, right? Javon Carter, he might not have a lot of points. He might be up and down at times, but at least we know we're getting effort from this dude. And he want to win. Cameron Payne playing for his career. You know, the only two guys, there's two people on the court right now who playing very lax. It's Frank Kaminsky and you. You don't want to be in the same conversation as Frank Kaminsky. You don't. Trust me. You're, you're number one overall pick. Right? You show flashes of greatness. We know you got it in you. No, you can't just have one game and be good. No, oh, I said I had 23 and 15. That's not good enough. You got to consistently do that if you want to be Shaq 2.0. Remember you said you were Shaq 2.0? That's what you got to do. Right? You got to turn it on, my G. This game should not have been this close. And I know y'all saying, damn, well, y'all won. Y'all won. I mean, what you bash? No. You, when you're great, you're a great team. You're a competitive team. You want to be a team like this, right? I mean, if you look at the roster, a team constructed like this, you want to beat them by at least 20. That's dub rules. You see, a, you see the roster like this? Our dub rules. More likely, Dallas is going to sit, sit Porzingis and Luka Doncic, right? Because they're pretty much locked in at the seven. They're going to... That's dub rules squad. They sit Tim Hardaway Jr., Luka Doncic, and Porzingis? Come on, man. And we don't dub that team? Let's, now, that's, like I said, it's still an NBA team. You know, regardless, they're playing for their careers. But we got to play for our legacy. Devin Booker, this is time. This is time. I want to see Portland. Portland is on a, is on a tear. I want to see Portland. And when we see Portland, it can't just be Devin Booker going out there doing what he do. Right? He going to need a lot more to combat what Dame is going to do. Right? Because Dame, he's going to do what he's going to do. We'll, we'll see. We'll see if he's going to do what he's going to do. You know, I feel like he's going to do it, but we got, a lot of, we got a lot of weapons on defense that's being heavily slept on that I, I'm, 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 I really want to see, man. I really want to see Mikael Bridges on Dame. I want to see Dame versus, versus Devin Booker on offense. I want to see that. I want to see what we, how we compete against them dudes. Because a lot of eyes are on them. A lot of eyes are on us too. But the odds are in their favors. You know? So, I want to see how we handle adversity. And DeAndre Ayton, I want to see how you handle that shit, my G. Number one overall pick. Right? Potential Greg Oden. Right? Get your mind right. Get your mind right, bro. Hitman next, man. That's all I got, man. I Apologize for that rant, man. But this is trill shit. I got to tell these dudes, man. Lamont, please, if you sub to my channel, please tap this in the dick. That, that, uh, DeAndre Ayton, man. DeAndre Ayton needs to hear this video, man. He needs somebody tag him in it. I don't care, man. I do this because I want our team to win. This is that's all I care about. I do these videos because I want my team to win. I'm trying to educate y'all on Phoenix Suns basketball. I want this team to be great again. Period, point blank. That's all I care about. Hit man next, that's all I got. Hit that comment section, let me know how you feel about this one. I'm out of here.